Ventura when I hear this song. We ended up having to wait two hours to get a table here in the tea salon. Initially they told us it would only be a one hour wait, but by the time one hour had passed, we had waited so long that we figured it was probably worth it to stay. And now Sam is not very pleased. He's looking at me with evil eyes. Are you freaking kidding me? Sam is hiding behind the camera because he's so angry that he had to wait for two hours. But now I'm being punished by having to be on camera all alone. Okay, so if you're looking to go have afternoon tea in Hong Kong, the Peninsula is the place to come. This is the oldest hotel in all of Hong Kong and it's super popular. The lineups really speak for themselves. a nice little teacup of mango tea and it smells like fresh mangoes. So good. <sighs> Tropical. <laughs> into the food we couldn't help it but if you go to the bottom here we have the scones which we can eat with the clotted cream and jam over here we have some nice finger sandwiches with salmon cucumbers prosciutto and up top we have the cakes and the macaroons and lots of other treats so here I'm preparing my scones with Cornish clotted cream and jam this is a favorite of mine whenever I go to London to visit my friend Rebecca I always end up staying at her house and I eat scones, clotted cream and jam three times a day. I eat it for breakfast, for lunch, and also for my late night snack. So I always get fat when I go there. worth the two hour wait, although I would have preferred not having to wait that long. Um, some favorites were the little lemon meringue tarts in a chocolate shell. I also really like the scones with the clotted cream. And they had sandwiches with salmon that were amazing. So I'm a happy girl. So I think it's kind of funny that we had to wait two hours in line, but it only took us 30 minutes to finish off all the food in front of us. That doesn't make sense. <laughs>